Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Let me give a shout out, I'm a little late, to all the Aries. How are you doing, Aries? How's the New Year's coming for you so far? How y'all feeling about it? And um, are you making things happen? <laughs> I am joining you in our ranks. I want to say um, I was kind of a little, a little um, melancholy on the 25th because all I could do was think about Miss Aretha Franklin and um, I, I, I missed her. I just missed her. So I've just played the music. And missing her, it's not like she had any songs on the chart or anything like that. And what I'm missing is pretty much all, you know, you, when you listen to Aretha, you all basically listen to the older stuff anyway. But I just miss not knowing, just knowing she's not here. And, I, you know, that's just a part of life. You know what I'm saying? So... For her and Diana Ross and Shaka Khan and Stephanie Mills and all the other Aries out there, myself included. I'm an April Aries, so I got a little bit to go. But Aries are from March 21st to April 19th. Okay? Now, we're the first sign of the Zodiac. Doesn't mean we better... Uh, we haven't been refined to a lot of things like maybe the uh, uh, a patience of uh, uh, some of the signs that may be blessed a little bit further down than us. Because we are the first, we blaze in the path. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, zodiac, and that's pretty much how those born under this sign see themselves first. Let's just keep it real, Okay. You, you know, once you admit it, then you probably can uh, get along a little better. Aries are the leaders of the pack, first in line to get things going. Whether or not everything gets done is another question altogether. For an Aries prefers to initiate rather than to complete. See, and that is something that we seriously need to work on, the completion of a project or the completion of a um you know, idea or whatever. Anyway, the mold and the element is fire. Fire. Symbol is the ram. The body part is the head. And the ruling planet is Mars. The ruling house first. Colors. Some people say red and mustard. The mantra is I am. The tarot card, if you pull it, is going to be the emperor. And our greatest compatibility is the Libra and the um, Leo. And I must admit, um, I really miss my relationship with my Leo friend. Um, of course, there's other circumstances and, and, and extenuating things but leos and i are pretty compatible and other aries because we know each other's fire and because libra is so interested in having a party or just um you know being a a balancer of the aries fire sometimes they're they they are compatible with us in so many ways. One of my best friends, a few of my best friends have been Leos, okay? So I believe a lot of aspects of astrology. A lot of people say it's a bunch of hogwash and all that kind of stuff. Well, you know, but then yet and still they'll say that the, the, the three kings um, in, in the Bible charted and followed the North Star. It, it gets me, you know, how we can just scramble stuff up. But the very first doctors and the things, uh, psych uh, I think therapists on the planet were basically uh, astrologers. 
okay? Um, and there were certain things about when you were born that allowed them to look at your personality and to see it and see it as a sign of um, either growth or or you know not so growth. Okay. Now, one of the most dangerous things about Aries, in my opinion, um, is our unexpected emotional outbursts and impulsiveness. Um, out of all the other signs, Aries is probably one most likely to commit a crime of passion. When they get angry, they attack. And sometimes it's just not their words that hurt people, but their actions. Okay? That's what I mean by, although we may be the first sign of the Zodiac, there's a lot of underdeveloped traits in us um, that are good to be brought to the forefront because you got to know yourself. Know thyself. It's very important. There's a lot of areas that when they get angry, they attack because that's who we are. We're mercurial. We're fiery. And if you don't know that about that person or about that sign or, you know, like you might have propensities or uh, to, to proclip, you know, to act a certain way. Once you understand that and you put that into your pot of self-discovery, you're able to not maybe totally, um, you know, eradicate it, but, you're, but you can manage it because you're aware. Because you don't want to go to jail from killing somebody, okay? Or you don't want that, because that passion, I'm going to tell you, unless you know how to get that fire under control, <laughs> Oh, Lord, if you don't learn, you will end up, you know, in a dark place sometimes. You see, and I'm just, you know, I'm just trying to be honest about it. Now, they say, what signs get along with Aries? <laughs> uh, you know, Taurus is get along with us. Like I said, uh. Libras, Leos, um, now, when they say what, what sort of energy, some people say, no, it's just pe people, it's just people, don't even worry about none of that, okay, but when your person, ex you know, shows you some of these characteristics, then you'll be like, okay. You keep that same energy. Oh, no, it don't matter. It don't matter. When they sitting up there showing you exactly what a part of their characteristic is and their nature is, and you're unwilling to accept it for whatever reason. Okay? Um, let's see. Torians are strong, dependable, and have a tendency to be stubborn. They get along easily with Virgo and Capricorn, but might have a difficult time with Scorpio, Leo, and Aquarius. Okay? So, um, Cancers find Aries a bit challenging. Okay? Um, Aries is compatible with the Leo. Um, and the Sagittarian. And there's a lot of dualities in their nature because they're fire signs. You know, and because the Libra always, you know, wants to be fair, likes to weigh things out, look at both sides of the issue. They're fine with Gemini and Aquarius but find it challenging to be with Aries, Cancer, and Capricorn. 
However, they can be very compatible. So these are some of the things that <clears throat> if you don't, <laughs> these are some of the things that, you know, you can just entertain a little bit and look at the people in your life. And since this is Aries, the first sign of the Zodiac, Aries month, let's delve into the, us a little bit. Let's talk about our strengths and our weaknesses, okay? So if any of you Aries out there under the sign of my voice are not too shy, not, um, and certainly not um, shy about discussing your strengths and your weaknesses, I would love to hear you in the comment section. So if you like what you hear, like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll see you in the next one. And all the Aries who are celebrating um, a born day today, happy born day.